Morning everybody. Today we're going to do some cutting with the Milwaukee nine inch cutter. This is electric cutter. All I need is to put my battery in here. It's already done. Ozzy's been and put it in. Nice one. That's fully charged. It has got a water suppressor attachment on and off. So that switched it on at the minute. It's a little bit stiff because it doesn't get used. Now it's off. <clears throat> I'm going to show you how to use water. This is the first time I've used it actually. So I don't know if it's going to work properly. But fill up one of these tubs. We carry this around with us all the time. This is for doing the spots, cleaning up at night, everything. We wash the trowels with this water. So this stays with us all the time. I didn't want to go out and buy a water suppressor because they're like 50 quid and it's an extra piece of kit to carry around. So I thought I'll adapt an hose pipe, use the siphoning method and uh, see if that'll work. Because since we've had the block splitter pinched, stolen, we've been cutting these aerated blocks, uh, thermalite blocks, and um, with this, and you definitely, definitely need uh, your protective gear, water suppressor. So now I'm going to be a bit more sensible and start using some protective equipment. Um, so I'm going to cut a wet block, and I'm going to cut a wet block and a dry block. What I would say is, if you want to, if you want to keep the dust down, when you load out your drop, leave a few blocks on the floor before you start the drop. They'll get soaked like these ones have only been on the floor. If you look down here, the bottom one's always wet. They soak up all the water. So if you leave 10 blocks on the floor, just flat, when you start a drop, they'll soak up all the water and they'll keep the dust down and I'll show you exactly what I mean. So. I'm going to take a measurement over there, see what we've got. We've got two cuts that need doing. I'm going to cut one with the wet and one with the dry. And we're going to do them both with the suppressor. So, 100 mil and uh, 325. 100 mil and a 325. Let's get this marked up. 100 mil and a 325. Special marking tool, aka the troll. So, 325, we're going to do that. That's that one. And I'm gonna do a 100 mil piece off the wet block. And see the difference in cutting. Okay, attach this to my scruff shorts. They come with a tape holder. That's what I like. Right, we're using some impact goggles, not just safety glasses, because safety glasses are normally rated to like F safety rating. I don't know if these are A or B. But that's what you want, full, full shield. So we're getting full safety today. And I've just been screw fix. Bought some of these masks. These were on offer at screw fix. They're only FP2s, but they're quick release. No, they can just go in your back pocket. Better than nothing. Um, three packs for 99 pence. So 15 of these masks for 99p. Can't go wrong with that. <coughs> right. This, if you just pull off your garden hose, take the attachment with it, pull off a couple of meters. I've pulled off what there? About maybe three meters of hose. Took it off me straight out to the garden and then just put a new one of these attachments on. They cost like 50p a pound, something like that. You can get them from anywhere. But I took the good one and put a, a cheap one on its own. So, first thing to do, Put it in the water, but you need to make sure your water is elevated uh, higher than where you're going to be doing your cutting. Then you're going to suck on the hose. Pull your mouth away. That should come out in a minute. You'll hear it coming through. There we go. Stick that straight on the back of your cutter. And now you're ready to cut. Because it's electric, there's no kicking it in, all that lot. We're going to go straight through this now like butter. And you'll see how quick these are to use. Once you've got yourself set up, it shouldn't be no either. And I'm not using earring protection because this hasn't got an engine. It's not loud. It's only the disc spinning. So with that being said, it's just like using a circular saw. There you go. That's full gear now. Let's get this cut. 
turn on the water suppression if we can get to it that's the only thing there so if you turn it Christ right there we go water suppression is on you can see it dripping through I don't know how good that was and then we're going to try the wet block. Right, you be the judge. I don't know how good that was or not. But the water suppression came through, but the blocks, these blocks are really dry. So, that's one, that's two. We haven't got any more to set up yet, because we've only just come in. But you tell me which you think, um, which was less dusty. Which was less dusty there? The wet one, the wet one was less dusty. So, <clears throat> cutting these, even with water suppression on, we're saying it's still dusty. Now, let's look. The water's coming through. I think, personally, <clears throat> the way to go is to leave blocks on the floor, let them soak up some water, or even chuck it a bucket of water over them before you start. Eight to ten blocks, um, because there's just some, there's just as much water flowing through there as there would be with the pump. These blocks are very dry, so you're going to struggle not making any dust at all, all the time. Um, but using this with brick, I could imagine is a bit better. Tell you what I'll do. I'll get a brick now. And I'll see exactly. I'll see exactly how good it is for the bricks. May as well do a test while we're here. Let's get a brick. We'll test. We'll test it dry and wet. I feel like that test was a bit um, not the best, you know what I mean? Right, let's try this with... It's just one of them, isn't it? You try it first time, the water's on, these blocks are that dry that... On these blocks you can't beat a block splitter, end of. For the amount of gear, it's one block splitter, bang. Using a cutter, like most of you do. Obviously, got my mask on. This, see, this is the pain in the arse all the time. If you've got a block splitter, you haven't got bothered with these, these. It's nothing, it's one operation. This is just firming up to me now the basis that I need to get a block splitter again because I don't want to be doing this every time I've got to do a cut. And most of you wouldn't. Right, we'll do a cut. Water suppression on. See what kind of, you can see the water's coming through. Right, check the dust on this. Dusty, even with suppression. Even with suppression. Yeah, I'm not having it. So, try my best. Is it because these are clogged or what? No, these aren't clogged. I was hoping that it'd be a blinding success. And that I'd be like, oh, this is great. 
But look, it's flowing. That's full flow, that is. You're not going to get any better flow at all. See if it just needs cleaning out a bit. Try again. And as for these goggles and stuff every time, that ain't again happen. Let's try again. Cutting a brick. Better or not, you be the judge out there. But I've done my bit, I've done my full safety gear. Everybody was <coughs> complaining that I wasn't wearing safety gear. Now I've done, put everything in practice. Put my water suppression on, put my mask on, put my goggles on. But now you can see, is it better to pre-soak your brick and cut it? Pre-soak your block and cut them knowing that you're going to be cutting the next day, pre-soak 10 bricks or whatever, pre-soak your blocks. I think, personally, I mean, look, this is... I'm going to pop that back in there. In fact, I'm going to take that out. It's, it's there. You can use your water suppression. Anyone comes on site, put it on. There's still going to be some dust kicked out. You want to make sure there's nobody working around you. <sighs> Pack it up at night. This is a little spring clamp. Pop it on there. It's still easier than carrying a dust suppression unit around. Whack that straight on your handle. Jobs are good. You can carry that around with you at night. And it's better than carrying a bottle as well. So. There's still an argument for me that <coughs> that cutter cut block split is the best. Next one, the electric cutter. And then obviously you still saw armor and bolster, whichever you find quickest. <coughs> I can't breathe now. So from that test, I don't know. You make your minds up, leave us a comment underneath. Uh, if you've enjoyed today's video, if you're new to the channel, give us a subscribe. It takes two minutes. Hit the notification bell and you'll be reminded every time I upload a video. Thanks for watching.